Time Warner remains one of the most recognizable brands in media and entertainment, but the company's origins actually date back to 1918 when Polish immigrants set up Warner Brothers. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, I'm your host Ashkan Karvis Rushan, and today we profile the history and legacy of Time Warner. The company as we know it today is actually the result of mergers and acquisitions amongst three organizations. Time Incorporated remains one of the most successful magazine companies around the world with over 150 magazine titles and 5 billion in annual sales. Time ended up merging with Warner Communications, who itself was the result of a spin-off dating back to 1972. In 2000, AOL, led by Steve Case, ended up merging with Time Warner in what was supposed to be the way of the future with old media meeting new media, but which ended up being a disastrous merger that cost shareholders over $100 billion. Throughout the years, Time Warner's gone through many iterations. First off, in addition to Warner Brothers and Warner Music, the company owned MAD. It also at one point owned the Pittsburgh Pirates. Interestingly, Time Warner also owned Atari. At its peak, Atari was the fastest growing company in the United States and generated 33% of the company's revenues. Thanks to all of these mergers and acquisitions, today Time Warner is a powerhouse in film, television, publishing, internet services, and telecommunications. The company's numerous assets include AOL, HBO, New Line Cinema, as well as CNN, DC Comics, and many, many others. Now, while Time Warner is positioned fantastically for the 21st century, there is a lot of soul searching going on in the company as they are trying to decide whether or not to let go of AOL, the costly merger that led to over $100 billion in lost value, or basically build around it and reposition Time Warner for decades to come. 